Hey, Steve Worrell with Outdoors First Media. I'd like to talk to you a little bit tonight about how to record with an Aquaview HD 700i. Now this is a brand new camera by Aquaview. It's a high definition camera that shoots in uh, 1280 by 720. It's very, very light sensitive and can see long after most under, other underwater cameras need uh, external lighting. Plus it has a very impressive infrared display and shoots after dark really well. One of the issues with the camera for out of the box for the amateur is the unit records using an HDMI out. Now there's, there's simple ways to do it, but it uh, requires an accessory that you need to purchase online. Basically what I'm using is an HDMI cord, and I got this cord right here, HDMI, from Amazon. At the same time, I bought what's called a buy-through recorder. Buy-through recorders are primarily for gamers, and the, the process that it uses is to record a video in signal and audio if you wish, so you can use an external microphone with some of them, you'll have to look that up on each model. This particular one's a Hop Century. Um, they're all pretty much the same build, and the idea of this unit is to plug HDMI out into the camera, HDMI in into the Hop Century unit, or into the uh, buy-through recorder, the game buy-through recorder. And you can actually, if you have this set up with the buy-through recorder and you're in a large shack, you can actually use HDMI out from the buy-through recorder and plug it into a big screen TV. So it also adds that element to the, the camera. Now, what you're going to do is power the buy-through recorder with 5 volt. And there's several ways to do that. One of the simplest, and almost everybody has them, is an external cell phone battery pack or charger. These are about $14, $15. This particular one will last about five, six and a half hours, right to five and six and a half, depending upon how cold it is, which is about how long this is going to work, will last on its internal battery anyway. So it's real simple to power using that. You get a standard USB cord and go to the power out on the power pack. Fire the power pack up, test it. Plug it in here, and then take this and plug it into the USB port on the buy-through recorder. That will power it if you don't want to power through the, the internal battery of the camera. What I've done is eliminated the external battery pack entirely. I just carry that as a spare. And I again went on Amazon and I got a, a outdoors Basically what this is, is a waterproof motorcycle power um, handlebar kit. What that gives you is 12 volt, so you can actually plug your 12 volt uh, accessories into there, if you wish, and run off the Aquaview battery. Or it gives you a USB port out. A USB port out will charge cell phones, etc. And it also powers your buy-through recorder. So all you have to do is plug this into the USB port, standard USB cable, this happens to be an Aquaview cable. Plug that into your, into your buy three quarter. As you can see, that's now powered because the switch was on. Okay? This is switched, so you can turn it on and off. What I did was put a little bit of Velcro on the back of the buy three recorder because it's slippery and you don't want to drop it in the water. It's certainly not waterproof. It's splash resistant, but it's not waterproof. Then I put a little bit of Velcro um, on the camera foot itself so that that just sits right there. Now that's not going anywhere. It's locked in and it's ready to record. Now what you're going to do is hook the HDMI into the port on the camera. Then take this into the input on your buy-through recorder. Fire up the camera. Once your camera is on, all you have to do to start recording, I've got a 32 gig card in here. You can also use uh, a thumb drive if you wish, up to 64 gigs. I like the 32 gig card because it doesn't stick out of the unit and create more stuff to break or, or get wet. So you just put a 32 gig uh, SD card in here. And there's a switch on top of the buy through recorder. You hit that button, red light comes on, and you're recording for about seven hours. When you're done, all you need to do is pop the SD card out, put it into your computer, download the files, and run them through your video editing program and you're all set. Once again, Aquaview 700 IHD, buy-through recorder, 
about a $12 switch that you can get, uh, you know, power supply that you can get from uh, Amazon. It's a motorcycle uh, power supply, so it's waterproof. And I wired that to the internal battery, which is really easy. You just open it up and, and put clips on, and additional clips on, and wire it in there, close it back up, and it's all set. And you're ready to record with your 700i.